Yeah, the two bills are known as House Bill 21, sponsored by Fort Myers Republican Representative Heather Fitzenhagen, as well as Senate Bill 1712, sponsored by Stuart Republican Senator Gail Harrell. Now, HB 21 does a lot. It gets rid of the regulation that hospitals and nursing homes and hospices use to expand. On the other hand, Senate Bill 1712 is less aggressive with the repeal, and it keeps the regulations for the nursing homes and hospices, but it makes it easier for hospitals to grow. We'll be able to lower costs as well as enable greater access to quality health care. Fort Myers Representative Heather Fitzenhagen wants to make health care cheaper for you by increasing competition. The bill she's sponsoring passed the House and is now in the Senate. It would make it easier to open new health care facilities. But lawmakers like Tampa Democrat Rep. Representative Susan Valdez worry it'll affect Florida's doctor shortage. And I'm concerned that repealing the health planning process that the CON enables will only exacerbate this problem. But Fitzenhagen says it won't be an issue and her bill does the opposite. We have to find ways that are making more and more doctors attracted to come here to the state to be able to provide services. Meanwhile, in the Senate. We really need to deal with some of the issues with certificate of need, but not throw out the baby with the bathwater. Senator Gail Harrell calls her version of the idea less restrictive. The state would not have to approve hospital expansion as long as the new hospitals have at least 100 beds, meet charity care requirements, and accept Medicare and Medicaid patients, an idea other senators support. I love competition, but it has to be a fair playing field. Senator Aaron Bean says keeping the con requirement for nursing homes and hospices would do just that. The the important thing is to make sure that patients get the appropriate care in the appropriate setting. Halfway through the legislative session, rolling back health care regulations and cutting costs is a top priority for House Speaker Jose Olivia. Ahead on the Wink News at 5, I'll update you on several other bills we are watching, including one on medical marijuana.